Thanks, Doug. We are here at Albertsons Market Street in Meridian, Idaho for a very special on location edition of Toast the Moment. In just a few, we are gonna go inside and meet a fantastic ambassador who's gonna show us the world of Shandon sparkling wine. He's even gonna teach us a cocktail or two. So what do you say? Should we go in? Let's go. I'm very excited because we are about to meet our very special guest. Let me grab a basket here. And we are on our way to meet Brian Fairley. He is the national brand ambassador for Shandon Wines. Brian, hey, how are you, I'm sir? Well, how are you? Fantastic. I'm so excited that you're here with us Dude, today. Really excited to see the store. So. Inside of Albertson's Market Street. It's beautiful, isn't it? We're going to do a little bit of shopping. Cool. We're going to make a little cocktail in here. Yes. All right, so we get shopping? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's go. So check this out, Doug. I downloaded the Albertsons app, so I can just go right to the shopping list and see exactly what we need. Okay, Brian, we've made it to the most important aisle in the store. Yes. This is the sparkling wine section. Yes, sir. So what are we looking for today? Well, on the right here, you're gonna see traditional champagne. Okay. So traditional champagne uses grapes grown in Champagne, France. The wines are made in Champagne, France. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna reflect Champagne, France. You'll see a few other different styles of sparkling wine here, but what we're looking for is Chandon Sparkling okay, Wine. Okay, Chandon Sparkling Wine. Yes. Okay, so that's not made in Champagne, France? Correct. So Chandon is made in California. Okay. So our wines are going to taste very Californian because that's where we grow the grapes and that's where we make the wines. Interesting. So up here you have your traditional expressions of Chandon. Chandon Brut, Brut Rosé, Blanc de Pinot Noir, and the new Chandon Garden Spritz. Ooh, Garden Spritz. Yes, ready to serve cocktail. So you can certainly make cocktails out of the other expressions of Chandon. The Garden Spritz is actually ready to serve. You just pour it over ice. That sounds amazing. Yes. So you mentioned cocktails with the other expressions. Yes. That's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today. All right, what do we need? We're, we're going to need one bottle of Chandon Brut right here. All right, check. We need one bottle of Chandon Brut Rosé right here. Brilliant. And we need one bottle of Chandon Garden Spritz right there. I love it. And then we just need some fresh ingredients. So let's we'll do a little shopping for this. Let's do a little shopping for some ingredients. Yeah. All right, so we have our Chandon sparkling wine. First ingredient we need, we need cinnamon sticks. Let's grab those right here. Perfect. Pop those in. All right. Check. Cool. All right. So we also need some frozen cranberries. Gotcha. These are going to be a great garnish for one of the cocktails. And as a bonus, it will actually help keep the drink cold. Like an ice cube. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. All right. So normally, I would be using fresh juice if I could. Right. But for convenience, let's grab a, a can of pineapple juice here. All right. And then we will also grab a bottle of cranberry juice. Excellent. Those are going to be our mixers. So easily accessible. Anybody can pick these up at any grocery store. Absolutely. Excellent. Cool. Off we go. What's uh, next on the app there, Brian? Uh, so we're going to need coconut water for one of the drinks. Of course, in a classic pina colada, that's going to give you a little bit of that sort of tropical nice. flavor. Nice Thick little richness. I think I know where you're going. Let's Perfect. see. Perfect right there. Got it. Let's grab that. All right. Check. So it looks like we have most of the ingredients that we need from kind of the canned side of things, yep. right? We need one more. Yep, just need uh, some simple syrup. Simple syrup. Now yeah, isn't, we're... simple syrup is something you can make at home, isn't of it? Of course, yeah, you just use a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water, and okay. then you're gonna heat that until it becomes a syrup. Uh, okay, so one-to-one, -one, like, like one cup of water, one cup of sugar? Exactly. Oh. So for convenience though, sometimes you can just buy it straight off the shelf. And luckily here they do have it. So oh, they we do. Can grab a little uh, little simple syrup right there. I think I see it right here. Cocktail essentials. It really is an essential. So. All right, perfect. So now that we have all of this, yes. let's head to the fresh department. Yes. Pick up some produce, Get some produce and some garnishes. Absolutely, let's all do right. it. All right. So now that we're in the fresh produce department, yep. What are some things that we're looking for? So obviously for most cocktails you're going to want a fruit element. Sometimes okay. you're going to want an herbal element as well. Oh yeah. So for these ones that we're going to be making, the most important thing is probably going to be the fruit elements. Gotcha. Because they're going to complement the fruitiness in the wines. Excellent. So first thing, actually yeah. as we walk right by it here, let's get a fresh pineapple. Oh, I, love, I it. love pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple in cocktails is great too. I just pineapple juice in general is my favorite too. Absolutely. Then here on the app I have the list, so let's okay. grab uh, we're going to need a lime. Got it. So let's get a nice clean looking lime, nice and green, nice and ripe. Here you Love go. Love that. And then we also need some oranges. Oranges. So let's grab a uh, let's grab a couple oranges. I like oranges. Excellent. And citrus is always great in cocktails. And then uh, we just need some fresh rosemary after that. And awesome. Some cranberries. And what I what I like, and I've seen you do this before too, is that not only can you use 
the orange as the fruit, yep. but you can use the outside, the skin, right? The Absolutely. peel? Absolutely, the peel's got most of the flavor in it, actually. That's really interesting. Yeah. All right, let's go look at those herbs you were talking yes. about. We need some fresh rosemary. Awesome. So we are over in the herb section now. What are we looking for? We just need some fresh rosemary because Shannon Garden Spritz, all you gotta do is pour it over ice and then add some rosemary, oh, wow. add a little bit of orange to it, and you're set. Awesome. Easiest cocktail ever made. Right, so rosemary? Yep, grab some rosemary. Got and it. And we'll head over to the bar and we'll make some Shannon cocktails. Let's do this. Let's do that. make some sparkling cocktails. We shall. We have finally made it to Talon Tap and Spirits. Yes. This is our destination to show us some of these fabulous cocktails you've been talking about, Brian. Absolutely. I'm excited. Let's do this. I am too. We've got our ingredients. Now what I'd like to do is introduce you to the bar manager of Talon Tap and Spirits. Cool. Laura. Hey, Laura, come on in. Hey. Welcome. Thank Hi, you man. so much for joining us yeah, tonight. Thanks Thank for doing for this. being here. Absolutely. It's nice to have you. So excited. All right, Brian, I'm going to turn it over to you too. Got it. We'll see some magic happen. Thank you so much. First thing you're going to need to do, if you're going to make a sparkling cocktail, you need to open a bottle of sparkling wine. I see people do this wrong all the time, so I'm going to show you the right way to do it. First thing, you need to get the bottle chilled. Once it's chilled, you got to find that little tab on the foil and you just tear it off so it looks nice and clean. And then you got to find that loop that's on the cage and you keep your thumb over the top because you always want to control the cork. You're going to pull that down and give it six half turns counterclockwise. And this is where I see everybody do it wrong. You, take, you don't take the uh, cage off. You want to keep it right there on the cork, put your hand right over the top, and then you just twist the bottom of the bottle, and you get that nice celebratory pop, and you're ready to make a sparkling cocktail. Let's Very do it. Done. Thank you. All right. All right, so the first cocktail that we're going to make is called the Chandon Colada, and that's going to use Chandon Brut sparkling wine. Luckily, I have an expert mixologist with me, because I'm not any good at mixology who's going to do all the steps, and I'm just going to tell you exactly how to do it. It's right. easy as can be. We're so, going to start with our lime wheel. Yeah, that's going to be your garnish. As a garnish. Absolutely. So we get those cut up, and then actually as a garnish, we're also going to need a leaf from that pineapple. So pull one right off of there. All right. And then we will start with a little bit of coconut water. We need one ounce of coconut water. So let's, uh, let's throw that in there. Always, of course, a reminder to use the very highest quality ingredients. Use them fresh when you can, because that's going to give you the best flavors in your cocktails. One ounce of coconut water is going to go into that shaker. And then we're going to need two ounces of pineapple juice. Two ounces of pineapple juice. It's going to give you that nice tropical flavor in the Chandon Colada. And then right. throw a little ice in there, and you're going to do a little shaking, which is always my favorite thing to watch a mixologist do. They look so good at it. So there is a technique. Make sure you get that nice and tight in there. There it is. And we're going to fill, actually, I'm going to do a little bit of work, I think. We're going to fill this glass right here with some ice. And that's going to make it so we get a nice, cold, refreshing cocktail. That might be too much ice, but we'll find out. So strain that right over there. And you have your base. And then you are going to add your Chandon Brut sparkling wine, which of course you want to use Chandon sparkling wine because it is good sparkling wine. I see a lot of people make cocktails, sparkling cocktails, using sparkling wines that are subpar, and that means you're going to get a subpar cocktail. So we're just going to fill that right up to the top. And he's doing it perfectly. Make sure you pour slow as to not overflow. Don't, don't overflow it onto the bar. That's no fun. And then as we pour that, then we are going to throw a garnish in there when we're ready. And that will be your Chandon Colada. So we'll throw in that pineapple leaf, throw in a lime wheel, and you have the Chandon Voila. Colada. Voila. Okay, now this is my favorite part. <laughs> so thank you very much. First of all, gorgeous thank in the you. glass. Looks delicious. It smells really good too. Two out of three. Mm. Oh. It's How so refreshing. It? it is delicious. Yeah, the Chandon Brut really comes through on it, but then there's that tropical vibe that you get. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is one definitely to check out. Can't wait to try the next. All right. All right, so that first cocktail was delicious, but I think this second one's going to be even more delicious. I believe so. So we're going to use uh, the Brut Rosé this time, Chandon Brut Rosé. This is going to be a relatively easy one. It's actually a great for the summertime into the fall. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to use two ounces of cranberry juice. Oh. So let's, uh, let's toss that in there. Cranberry actually plays pretty nicely with rosé sparkling wine across all different types of cocktails. So two ounces of cranberry juice in there, and then we're going to do one ounce of lime juice. Of course, that's going to give you that citrus brightness, give you a nice little kind of a green tartness as well. 
and then we're gonna do one half ounce of simple syrup. So the simple syrup is gonna give you a nice little sweetness and richness. And then you do wanna give that a little stir. All right. So we'll stir that up. Yes, get those ingredients nice and mixed together. And then we are gonna throw in a little bit of ice. And then we're actually gonna garnish this one first with a couple of frozen cranberries. Just kind of plays right. on that uh, on that freshness. It's also going to keep the drink nice and cold. And then I'm going to let you do the honors with the Chandon Brut Rosé. You just want to top that drink with it. That's going to give you that nice bubbly. And it's also going to give you a very bright freshness uh, coming directly from that Chandon sparkling wine. That looks delicious. It looks delicious, doesn't and it? Refreshing. I mean, that's something you should be sipping on the patio as far as I'm concerned. And then the last thing you need to do is have a garnish. So let's throw on a little lime twist. All right. And uh, that'll make it look nice and pretty. It'll also give you some of those aromatic notes from the uh, from the skin of the lime. And you have made the Chandon Cape Cod Fizz. So uh, let's bring Doug back. Hey, Doug, come on over Welcome here and back, try Doug. this one. I mean, if I must, If I you must. have to, I'm okay. sorry to make you do it. Here we go. That's Gosh. the Chandon Cape Cod Fizz with Chandon Brut Rosé. I love that look. Beautiful, isn't mm. it? Oh, it's real fresh. Oh, that's, I want one. Pass it over here. I tell you what, I tell you what. <laughs> That is delicious. Delicious, Perfect isn't it? Mean, it's such a difference between the rosé and the brut. You can really kind of uh, brings out that, that floral notes yes. that you were talking about before. It's delicious. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Absolutely. This one, you got to give a try. All right, so our third cocktail is going to be one of my favorites because right now I have an expert mixologist with me, but normally I only have me, and I'm not an expert mixologist. Chandon Garden Spritz is a ready-to-serve cocktail. Chandon has done all the mixology for you. So all you need to do is pour it over ice. So the first thing we're gonna need, well, is ice. Actually, okay. probably the first thing we need is a glass. So a wine glass is gonna be great. White wine glass, red wine glass. Fill that about to the top with ice. And then this is as simple as it gets. This is gonna be the easiest cocktail you ever make, that's for sure. You're In gonna mixology, pour... it's yes. very important to have balance. Of course, so you put that, uh, that Chenon Garden point. Spritz over ice. Just pour it, wait for that foam to settle a little bit and then fill it up, give it that sort of a inch from the top or so, and you have made yourself a cocktail with Shannon Garden Spritz. So it's ready to go like that. You can drink it now. I promise you it's, it's delicious, it's refreshing, but I like to throw a little garnish in there because that's gonna bring out some of the notes that are in Garden Spritz. Best one, I think, for the summertime, it's gonna be rosemary. So just Absolutely. toss a little sprig of rosemary in there for me, if you would. And that's also gonna make it look really pretty, which is, of course, uh, very important when you're gonna be taking photos of it inevitably. So your last thing as a garnish is just gonna be a little bit of orange. I like a, a little slice of orange in there, an orange wheel. Cut that fresh, put a little slice in it so you can put it on the rim of the glass, and you have made a garden spritz cocktail. That's the easiest drink all right. of all time. All right. Great for entertaining, and of course, great for the summertime. So there is your garden spritz for the summer. Now let's make a remix on it, and let's do one for the winter because doesn't feel like winter's ever coming at this point. We're sort of in the dog days of summer, but inevitably it will get here. So what you're gonna do is the same thing. Take a little ice, fill that up uh, in that wine glass, and then we're gonna pour garden spritz over the top in the same way that we did before. Okay. However, yes. I'll, I'll do the honors if you'd like. Please do. I've done this a few times before. We'll pour a little garden spritz in there. And then we're actually gonna use a different garnish. This is something that you can do with Garden Spritz. You can seasonally change the garnishes, just like you would at a restaurant, seasonally changing the menu. You're gonna add different flavors based on the time Absolutely. of year. I'm sure that's exactly what you do as a mixologist uh, here at, uh, at Talon, I'm sure. Balance, use garnishes as to add flavor to your cocktails. Absolutely. So this time, to give it something a little bit more savory for the winter, we are going to use a cinnamon stick. I personally right. like two cinnamon sticks because I like the flavor of cinnamon. Some people don't. They can use a little, little bit of one cinnamon stick, but then you just do another orange peel or an orange wheel, and you have made another cocktail. And That's here we as have easy the winter version. Winter, summer, Doug, yeah. it's summertime right. right now, but you gotta tell me, winter time or summertime? What do you like more oh with Shannon Garden goodness. Spritz? So now I've got two. Two cocktails. Two go okay, so first of all, both of them are gorgeous. Uh, let's go with summer first. Summer we first, are we are in the summer right now. Oh, you get that rosemary right oh, off the bat, right? Wonderful, so isn't it? So aromatic. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is a really nice balance between the sweetness yep. that you get from that garden sprint. Uh, the herbaceousness, I think that's a real word. Absolutely. Uh, comes from that rosemary and really kind of balances on the back end, which is delicious. Yes. I can definitely uh, see sitting outside 
on a patio somewhere enjoying that cocktail. Absolutely. That is the flavor of summertime oh. anytime. Right off the bat with the cinnamon sticks, you just get this massive, uh, like a big hug of yes. cinnamon right at you. Nice and warm for the winter time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Ooh, wow. That cinnamon really does bring out that sweet. I, it's the sweetness, but it's balanced. It's almost, it's not too bitter. Yep. Uh, not too sweet. And the cinnamon is, is just the right amount. Isn't it? It's a perffect balance. Sweetness, acidity, mm. and bitterness in Garden so, Spritz. That makes it a perfect cocktail. So here's the thing. I can still see myself sitting on a patio right now with the cinnamon Ooh. as well. But I can understand why it would be a fall, winter drink with that kind of that autumn feel that you get going on. Absolutely. What do you like best? Oh, man. Tough it's like call, isn't it? choosing between kids, right? Uh, I, I think right now I love the, herb, uh, the herbiness of the rosemary. Perfect. Point. So I think I'm going to go with that guy right now. But again, you made it. You made the point. Super, super easy to make at home. Absolutely. Ready to serve. And you do not need a mixologist. Yes. Involved. Listen, we always need a mixologist. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right, perfect. All right, so these guys, super easy to make. Looking forward to you trying these at home real soon. What a fantastic afternoon that we've had together. I think this is a perfect opportunity so we can maybe toast the moment. I think so. All right, let's grab our favorite cocktail here. Here's one for you. Mine is still definitely the summer here. Yes. All right, well first, Laura, thank you so much for having us here. Sharing your expertise, your knowledge on mixology was fantastic. Thank You're you one for of the being here. best bar managers here at, at the it. Talon Tap and Spirits. Um, I want to thank all of the folks here at Albertsons Companies for hosting us. What a fantastic store you have here with us. And Brian, last but not least, I, I learn something new every single time I'm with you. Thank you. The knowledge of Shandon just blows my mind. And these cocktails are perfect for any time of year. Agreed. Awesome. All right, well, listen, cheers, cheers. to everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Ah. Uh.